Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And apart from road gritting crews being on standby, much warmer weather has been forecast for the second week of May, which will probably herald my family's return to Crimden Dean Beach on the northeast coast of England, which brings me to the mineral sands sector and the investment opportunities that I've learned about this week. I've also learned about the misconceptions about mineral sands. Many people thought that they were found on the coastline, but not so. They're found further inland where the grades are higher and in some occasions self-replenishing. Now there's a thing. Now heavy sands include critical minerals, zircon, rutile, ilmenite, many necessary for the transition to the zero economy and essential now for ceramics and tech appliances. So who is involved in the industry? Who have I spoken to this week? Sovereign Metals with its Cassia project in Malawi, which is already the largest natural rutile deposit and second largest flake graphite deposit in the world. Then there is Pix Resources, which is producing ilmenite in Indonesia. It's also the world's third largest publicly listed zircon producer, plus Kazira Global, which has exposure to ilmenite, monazite and rutile and zircon through its investment in whalehead minerals in South Africa. Now, I talked to all three companies this past week on a Focus IR round table, and the discussion can soon be watched on lse.co.uk. Now, this What's Hot is being recorded on the last day of April, and this is the month where we've seen the FTSE 100 at record highs. Now, let's see if that's influencing the direction of the junior markets. Here's the six-month chart for the AIM market, compare that to the five-year chart. It's obviously in the right direction. Now, the idea is hopefully to make money, and that's what investors will be learning about at this week's AGM being held by moneysupermarket.com. AGM this Thursday, which is the local election day for many of us in the UK. Well, the company's platform is dedicated to saving households money. It made record revenue in 2023, and it's benefiting perversely from the increase in car insurance premiums, which are driving more people to its platform as they search for cheaper policies. See what I did there. Well, moneysupermarket.com has appointed a pretty punchy director to become its new chair. Jonathan Buse takes up the appointment at the start of next year after getting a pretty thorough handover. Hope you're well. Take care. I'll be back same time next week.